come along as I turn our coffee nook into a display for a cocktail party. The first thing I had to do was mix up these infusions from Crew because they have to sit for a few days before they're ready. I'm doing an infusion for a margarita and a bourbon option, and then I'm making the wine selection a little fun with the sangria. The next step was putting together a bar cabinet. I've been needing one for a while, a space to display glasses, a little bit of extra counter space in this situation. I combined these two nightstands and added a bookshelf for the top, and then I tried to pull in some elements to tie it in with the coffee nook. Then it was time for party prep. I try and do as much as possible before the party as I can. Crew offers really pretty rimming sugars that coordinate with the infusions. I wait till the last second to bring out all the ice items. It's amazing how much fun you can have with cups and ice. I'm offering three signature cocktails that go with the three liquors that I have out on display, the two that I infused, and then one plain vodka. I also attempted the cocktail in an ornament concept with the sangria, but per usual, it's never as easy as it looks. Here is where we started, and here is what it looks like before people arrived. I put out as many things as I can, all the glasses, including the rimmed ones, the wine, the cocktail shakers, the garnishes. I love these color-coordinated bottles from Crew. It helps me keep track of what is what. Then the view at night, there's a little bit more lighting. I think lighting and greenery really makes a space feel festive. I love this ice mold. I know it might be a little odd that I put the ice bucket in the drawer, but it saved space and fit really well. I was very impressed with how much I was able to fit on this bar cabinet. I'm excited to find it a permanent spot once the holidays are over.